Hello everyone, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we're digging into white line lesions. A lot of times I will refer to these as just as abscesses, but there's really three different types of lesions that fit into this category. We're gonna discuss those and what causes those on today's episode. First off, we should probably explain what the white line is. The white line is the junction between the outside wall of the hoof and the sole of the foot. Now, this junction is gonna be a weak spot. So anytime we have anything go wrong on the inside of the foot with the pedal bone, or if we have um, any separation in that outside wall, it's gonna happen right at that white line where the, where the sole and the outside wall meet will separate. So that's what really starts an abscess. It's that separation on the inside of the foot, and that's what we're gonna end up dealing with today. This first lesion is what I call laminar separation, and that's where the outside wall of the hoof separates from the connective uh, tissue on the inside. That connective tissue is what supports the pedal bone and attaches it to that outside wall. Now what causes this is a concussion, either a concussion from the outside where that maybe a cow slips and that uh, happens to that wall hits and causes some bruising or some separation inside there. It can also be if we were to get a rock or something wedged in between that outside wall of the hoof and the sole, it can actually pry that area open and separate uh, that connective tissue that way as well. This picture here is a pretty severe example of that laminar corium separation from that outside wall. You can see there's actually exposed laminar uh, corium there and the wall had to be completely removed to get that to heal. Luckily, this is the least common type of white line lesion. The next type of lesion we're going to talk about are white line ulcerations. Now, unlike the laminar separation that we just looked at in that outside wall, these happen to show up in the sole of the foot and just like the typical sole ulcer site are, are caused by trauma from the pedal bone. If we have an imbalance in that sole one way or the other, we're going to have ulcerations in different points and they're going to manifest themselves in that white line. These types of lesions show up in predictable spots, which is why when you're watching me work and you say, how do you see these things? I know right where to look. These three spots are gonna be your most common places to find them. Now, the upper right-hand corner is gonna be the most common. And the reason for this is, is this positioning of the pedal bone. Just like the sole ulcer site, these places are all vulnerable areas because of that pedal bone location. Now, it's not exactly that shape, but you get the idea of its location and why those uh, those ulcers manifest in those specific locations. This last lesion is gonna look very similar to those white line ulcerations we just looked at, except it's gonna differ in its location. It's gonna be way up high in that where the white line, the sole, and the heel bulb meet. This is probably one of the weakest spots in the entire hoof and why the majority of all abscesses start right here.
here you can get a good look at how high this lesion is and where that separation has taken place. It's not taken, down, taken place down low where the pedal bone sits, but rather up high along that junction where that white line, that heel, and that sole all meet. So if we were to boil this all down, white line lesions are either caused by pedal bone trauma or mechanical forces that cause that outside wall to separate from the sole. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.